So did you know that there's a way that you can use both ChatGPT and Make.com when it comes to assisting you with starting a one person automated online business? For those of you that's not really sure of exactly what Make.com is, it's an automation software that you can use for so many different things. But one of the ways that you can use it is when it comes to setting up automations to get potential customers going towards your product pages every single day without you having to lift a finger. I've been using it daily with the different internet businesses that I've been running. So what I wanna do is just break down step by step exactly how it works, how you can use it as a complete beginner. And I'm hoping by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to get your first automation sequence set up so that you can also put yourself in a position of being able to earn an extra source of income online. Now, one of the first steps that you're going to need to take is to of course have some sort of product that you're going to sell, whether physical or digital. Now I've got this pet store over here that I've shown on this channel many, many times. I was able to build it using a completely free AI store builder. And if I just click on catalog, we're gonna be able to see all of these different products that's been added to the site. And one of the ways that you can automate traffic going towards websites like this, where you're selling both physical products and you're also selling digital products as well, is by using blog articles that are gonna be ranked on Google, but you're also going to create educational blog articles that you can drive traffic to using Instagram, TikTok, or any other social media platform. A lot of people tend to think that blog articles is dead, they don't work, and there's no point in doing them when that isn't the case. Millions of people go onto Google, billions of people go onto Google searching for information. And when it comes to them getting that information, it's gonna be in the form of a blog article. And if you're able to use make.com and chat GPT when it comes to producing blog articles every single day. Ultimately, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get people going onto your website, which of course is going to lead to them hopefully turning into paying customers. So before we get into how to use make.com, if you don't have a online business set up already and you wanna be able to do it in the most simplistic way, I'm gonna leave the completely free AI store builder linked down below. And I'm also gonna leave a completely free course link down below as well that's gonna break down everything that we're gonna talk about today. Now, for the sake of this video, let's assume that you've already got your Shopify store up and running and you wanna automate these different blog articles. What you're gonna to need to do is go over to make.com and you're gonna be able to create an account for completely free. As you can see over here, you don't need any credit card and there's no time limit on the free plan as well. So all you gotta do is just click on get started for free. You've then got the option to sign up using either your Gmail or email address. So I'm gonna complete this now. And as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna be back ASAP. Okay, perfect. So I'm now in my make.com account and this is what the interface looks like. So one of the first things that you need to do once you get to this point, when it comes to automating all of these different blog articles is come over here to the left-hand side and you're gonna see AI agents. Now this is a really powerful tool because with this make.com agent, you're not gonna have to think about the blog articles yourself. You're not gonna have to do anything when it comes to manually telling ChatGPT what articles to write. This is going to come up with the new articles every single day. So all you gotta do is just click on create agent and then come over here to where it says create a connection. And then what you need to do is now give it a name. So I'm just gonna call it blog research agent. And for the model, I'm just gonna select this one over here, let's go with GPT-5 mini. And then over here, this is where you're gonna enter the prompt where you're basically telling it exactly what you want it to do. Now I'm gonna click on save and I'm gonna be able to show you a better look on this screen. Now I'm gonna leave all of these different prompts down below so that you can gain access to them. But as you can see over here, I've just given it the URL for my store. I've told it exactly what my goals are to come up with one relevant blog article idea every single day. I've given it the details of my store. I've told it exactly what the requirements are. You can pause the screen right now and take a look. And I've also told it to format the data with the blog title, SEO keyword, product name and product URL. So by entering this into the make.com agent, it's gonna know exactly what type of article you want. And it's also going to know the format that you want to get it in as well. And as we go on in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly why I've chosen this particular format. But one of the final things that you need to do on this page is upload the details for the products on your site. And the way that you can do that is by coming over here to context and you're gonna be able to upload a file. Now, as I already said, the store that I was able to build with the free AI store builder loaded all of these different products. Some of them I added myself and the digital products are also added as well. But for me to get the complete list of different items, the prices, as well as the URLs, which is very important to this whole process. I'm just gonna come over here to export. 
and then I'm gonna click on all products and then I'm gonna come back over to make.com, click on add and then insert the file. Okay, perfect, just like that, I'm gonna upload it and that should be done in a few seconds. Okay, there we go. So that's exactly what you need to do on this page when it comes to creating the agent that's gonna do most of the work when it comes to researching the best blog article that's going to do well. And the reason why it's good for you to set this make.com agent up is because it's going to research every single day the best article to produce on that particular day. So once you've set this up, you're not gonna to have to come back to it unless you wanna make changes to it. But once you've done this, all you need to do is just click on save. Okay, perfect. So once that's now done, what you need to do is come over here to the left-hand side and you're gonna see scenarios. You're just gonna click into it just like this. From there, what you need to do is create a new scenario. So just click on this button. And this is the screen where you're now going to set up every single module that's going to talk to one another and it's going to produce the article, upload it and schedule it on your Shopify store. So as we can see, it's a blank page right here and there's gonna be a lot of steps that goes into it. Let me just quickly show you what the finished screen is going to look like. So what you can see right here is the finished sequence. So we got the make.com agent. This is the module that's going to come up with the blog article, the one that we just set up. This one is going to organize the data from the agent. From there, the data is going to be uploaded into the Google Sheet. Once it's uploaded into the Google Sheet, ChatGPT is going to write the article based on the data in the Google Sheet. From there, DAO E3 is going to produce the image, which is the main cover image. And it's gonna be from that point where Shopify is now going to publish it for your readers to read automatically. And this entire sequence can be set up every single day to run on autopilot. As you can see down here, you can either click run once or what you can do is schedule it so that every single day at the exact same time, the articles are gonna go out without you having to do anything. And right now, I'm sure that most of you are probably thinking, Sam, what you've just shown me is really impressive, but it looks a little bit complicated. How exactly am I going to set it up myself? Well, what I'm gonna be able to do is just come over here to more and I'm gonna be able to export this blueprint. And then what I'm gonna do is just link the blueprint down below and all you need to do is download it, come back over to your blank sequence, click on the three dots, come over here to import blueprint. And it's gonna be a JSON file that you're going to use to upload. So I'm just gonna click on choose file. And then you just need to select it like that and then click on save. And then instantly, as you guys can see, the blueprint has now been imported. So there's gonna be some last few steps that you need to take once you get to this point. You just need to make sure that you set up your connections, make sure that you've set up your make.com agent you're gonna to have to connect it just like this. Let me just click on blog research agent, the one that we set up together. I'm gonna to click on save. Within this one, you don't need to make any changes to anything, just leave everything how it is. In the Google Sheets one, you just need to create a connection. So just click on this button. And then all you need to do is sign into your Google account. And once you've logged in, you just need to create a Google Sheet with these four different columns, title, keyword, product name, and product link. And then just click on spreadsheet ID and select the name of the spreadsheet that you're working with. You don't need to do anything else in this. All you gotta do is just click on save. From there, what you now need to do is come over to the open AI module, just click into it like this and then create a connection. And then what you need to do is get your API key. And to get that, you just need to click on open AI billing page and then log into your open AI account. You do need to be aware of the fact that you need to top up your balance. Now you don't need to top up a large amount. It could be $5, $10, and that's gonna last you a really long time. So as you can see, I've already topped up around $10 and that was a few months ago and I'm only down to around $4. So again, it doesn't cost that much. So you need to top up your open AI account, but to get your API key, you're gonna be able to find it on the left-hand side. So I'm just gonna click into it. On this page, you now need to click on create new secret key. And I'm just gonna call this one dot com. And I'm gonna put this code and then I'm gonna click into project, default project, and then click on create secret key. Okay, so I'm gonna blur out the API key, but this is essentially what you're going to copy and then go back over to make.com. And then you're just gonna paste the key in there just like that and then click on save. Once you've done that, everything is now going to be populated. So once again, you don't need to make any changes. The only change you need to make is the amount of words you want to be in the blog article. So in this module, we're telling ChatGPT how we want the article to look, how many words we want, the structure of it. So you don't really need to make too many changes other than the word count. So I've just put 1,000 words 
for today's video and then I'm going to click on save. The next module is this one, Open AI once again. You just need to select the Open AI connection that you just made. And again, you don't need to make any changes whatsoever. It's already going to have the prompt in there. You're just going to click on save. And then finally, it's just going to be your Shopify module. So you're going to need to create a connection. So just click into it like that. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. You're going to select Shopify custom app and you're going to have to insert your domain and get the API token key. Now, when it comes to finding your domain for your Shopify store, you're going to be able to do that by going into your settings, clicking on domains, and it's going to be the standard Shopify domain that they give you. So it's not going to be your custom one, e.g. this one that you can see right there. And then all you need to do is just paste the domain in this section. Now, when it comes to getting the API access token, there's going to be some steps that goes into this. So just make sure that you follow along. And if you need to rewatch it, you could just rewind. So let's just go back over to my Shopify account. Now, the first thing that you need to do once you get to this point to get your access key is to come over here to settings and then click straight into apps and sales channels. Then what you need to do is come over here to develop apps. Then what you need to do is click on create an app. I'm going to call the app name make.com agent blog. And then I'm going to click on create app once again. Once on this next page, you just need to click on configure admin API scopes. Then type in content, click on write and read content, write translations and read translations, and then click on save. And don't worry guys, everything I'm showing you right now, you're not going to have to go through it again. Once you set this up, you're only going to have to do it once. So once you've selected these options, you're going to click on API credentials, and then finally just click on install app. Okay, great. So as you can see, this is the admin API access token key. So I'm just going to reveal it copy it and then go back over to make.com. And then finally, I'm just going to paste it in there like this and then click on save. Okay. So that's now been done. Once again, you're not going to have to make any changes to this. All you need to do is just click on save. And that's basically it guys. If you followed all of those steps, you're now going to have your own make.com agent that's going to write articles every single day, once a day, the latest article that has the best chance of succeeding. And it's also going to link directly to your products because it knows all of your products. It knows all of the URLs and it's going to be able to do a really good job better than what you're probably going to be able to do. But before I get ahead of myself, let me just quickly make sure that it's working. I'm going to click on run once and let it go through the sequence. And if there's any errors, I'm going to let you guys know and we're going to fix it together, but I'm sure it's going to be able to do it first time. Okay. So we can see that this part of the sequence has gone through the text has been organized. The Google sheet has now been updated and we can also see that chat GPT is now producing the article. And right there, as you can see, it's now completed the entire sequence. So first things first, let me just go over to the spreadsheet. Yep. So we can see that it's correctly added the title for the blog article, the keyword, the product name, and the URL of the product from my store. And if we go to the back end of my Shopify account, we could see that the article has just been published just now. So if I just click into it, let's take a look. So for the most part, it looks like it's done the correct job. I'm just going to view it on the actual website. Let me just click on preview. Okay. So if I just scroll down, so yeah, it seems like it's done a really good job. We can see the image of the blog article right there. We can also see all of the text. Everything is structured. There's no mistakes. There's no weird coding or anything like that. And the best part about it, as I told you guys before, is that these different articles are going to be able to sell your product 24 seven, because there's going to be all of these different links where if someone clicks into one of these links, it's going to take them directly to the product page. But yeah, I'm sure that you guys can see how powerful this is when it comes to using make.com to automate all of these different articles that's going to go on your website. You're not going to have to come up with the articles yourself. You're not going to have to do anything. Once you set this up, you're going to be able to set it and forget it and put your energy and your attention on other areas of your business. By no means am I saying that you should just rely on getting articles ranked in the Google search results because that's not the best way of doing things. You want to use various different methods when it comes to getting potential customers, e.g. maybe producing short form content on a regular basis every single day if you can. Uploading these different short form videos to TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, whatever chosen platform you're happy with, you're going to upload them on a consistent basis and you're also going to use paid ads as well. In today's video, I just wanted to focus on how you can use make.com with this particular strategy because I don't really know if a lot of people are aware of it 
And my job here is to give you guys all the information I wish I had from the very beginning. And when it comes to running a site just like this, it's not me that has to ship out the products. I don't even need to buy any item in bulk. Every single time that a sale has been made, it's gonna be AutoDS, that's the software that's going to get the customer's information automatically, and they're gonna pass it on to the supplier, and then the supplier is gonna ship it directly to the customer. So that's the benefit of running this one-person business, is that once you use the AI store builder to set it up, and you've added whatever products that you wanna to add to the store, from there, you're now gonna be able to list any additional products, and all the items are going to be shipped and paid for only once you've made a sale. In addition to that, when it comes to all of these different digital products that have been listed as well, let me just go over to the catalog page, e.g. these two different eBooks over here. The way that Shopify works is that you can upload whatever digital product that you want so that again, whenever a sale has been made, the customer is going to receive that digital product directly in their email inbox. So in my personal opinion, I would say that this is definitely one of the best one person businesses to build up because you're gonna be able to load it with both physical, digital products. You're gonna be able to automate traffic using the help of make.com and you're gonna be able to integrate various different softwares applications and AI when it comes to just streamlining the entire process. By no means am I saying that this is gonna be easy and sales are gonna start coming through straight away. There's always gonna be a learning curve. You're gonna to have to go through things. Maybe your first store might not work out. Maybe your first product might not work out as well. You're gonna to have to go through things, try things, maybe make some adjustments. But it's those of you that are able to be consistent, you're the ones that's gonna be able to reap the rewards. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, you've learned anything, you've got any sort of value from it, don't forget to press the like button, I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know once a new video has been released. And if you also want to enroll in my completely free course, where I break all of this down in a lot more detail, I show you how you can get your store built, how you can set up your domain, your payment processors, everything that goes into the back end of your Shopify account, and everything you need to know when it comes to finding a proven winning product. So you're gonna be able to join it for completely free. Don't worry, there's not gonna be any paywalls or anything like that. Top link in the description, make sure that you join today. And if you also wanna watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that goes into building up an AI online side hustle that doesn't require a laptop, doesn't require that much money, and you're gonna be able to do it anywhere around the world. You're gonna be able to watch that video by clicking the link right there. Check that out straight after this because that video has already helped out so many people. I've gotten so much good feedback from it and I'm sure that it's gonna help you out too. But as always guys, I'm gonna catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.